Hello. So I get here. Hello. Corbin and his wife are Who? panting, sweating, and doing it in the front yard. Yeah, we are. What was weird is then Leland picked up your ball. We were playing football. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. It's still Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Yeah. Sure to come. Subscribe to the like Ooh. button because it helps the algorithm. Yeah. And, and if your rhythm's out of sync, you might be pregnant. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon uh, for all your patronage. Um, if you guys, because uh, we, we have a lot of watch-alongs, we just did Farsi. We yep. did the um, Romantics, which I cut up the first episode. And you won't see any more on YouTube because guess who it was copyrighted by, Rick? Yeah, right. Funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What a shock! The YRF would and it was a, say, I thought it was no. A, I thought it was a Netflix thing, and I was like, yeah. okay, we'll probably say. Wait, it. are you kidding? No, you really did think that they that YRF would give over those rights to Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. if you'd like to see all the reactions of the Romantics, I know a lot of you have been asking. Yeah. Um. It's all. It's only going to be on Patreon. I'm sorry, and we're not going to do just a, a, a like a a review of it. It's a documentary, it, and so yeah, and we watch all the episodes, all four of us, and, and we, we talked about it at the end. But uh, I'm not going to do another specific review off of that. So, if you'd like to see that, unfortunately, the only cut up one is on. Uh, first episode, and it was copyrighted, and I'm not going to just do another four cut-ups because they're going to get No, they're, gonna, they're all going to get blocked. So, uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters, because you've already seen that. Thank you yep. so much. Uh, Hope you liked it. Anyways, but today, uh, we got to something we've wanted to get to for a while, because India is going to sweep it at the Oscars this year. <laughs> India's coming. <laughs> India's coming. <laughs> Time for you! Um, <laughs> Musical know. interludes brought to you by Idiots. Uh, but obviously, it, this we're going to do two reviews in this because you get there, two, there two, have two reviews in one. Two Indian documentaries nominated for Oscars this it's gonna year. going to be number two. Uh, the uh, documentary short, The Elephant Whisper, yep. and the uh, long form documentary, uh, All That Breathes. Which is interesting. The shorts I'm wearing under here. They breathe really well, too. Oh, wow. Um, but obviously, we'll do... Uh, I think we'll start with maybe the short one. We'll just start with the Elephant Whisper, and then uh, we'll get to All That Breathes right after. And since it is a documentary, uh, it's, it's going to be a little different than a normal review because you can't talk about it the same way you can talk about a movie. Like a, a, There's critical things you can talk about, of course, and if you enjoyed it and all that kind of stuff, but it's it's not as like an in-depth review normally. No, it's a lot more subjective. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just if you enjoyed it kind of thing. Um, so that'll be this. We'll start with the Elephant Whisperer. Well, but also to update here, um, Ram Charan, he was seen leaving the airport to come to Los Angeles. I wonder why. I wonder why he's doing that. He's got about... Two and a half weeks, that's about the right amount of time to rehearse that number. Hope he remembers the steps. <laughs> uh, but it's very exciting. Anyways, so we'll start with The Elephant Whisper. If you haven't seen this one, this is on Netflix. The yeah. other one is on HBO. Uh, I don't know if that's fully accessible I, uh, in India. I, I, I would hope it's even more accessible in yeah. India. I don't know what it is. Uh, but in the States, that's where these two are available. But anyways, uh, what were your initial thoughts of The Elephant Whisper? Um, I... It's, it's, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I can see why it's nominated. Um, I found it to be very intriguing, telling me and educating me about something that I didn't know about. I felt, the, are we doing spoilers with this? Yeah, it's a okay. documentary. We're not going to do non-spoilers. So right. If you, have, it's if you haven't minutes, seen it, go watch it. It's 40 minutes. Please watch it. Just it, for both of these, it's going to be that way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just go watch them. We're not going to do a non-spoiler for a documentary. No, 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 no. So if if you're interested in it, if like if you're into animals and conservation and all that stuff, this one definitely can do. It. But the other one, very similar in terms very of similar. Uh, uh, just, conservation and, and, and animals as well. But we're not going to do a non-spoiler. Yeah, and I thought it was interesting because they're both. They talk about similar subject matter, not in their totality. There's a simplicity and a more specific focus that's singular with the Elephant Whisperer. So starting with that one, uh, I I felt that, first of all, it was just really touching to know that this kind of thing exists in the rehabilitating mm. of the of the Asian elephants. Yeah. Um, and it, I also found it really wonderful to find out a little bit more not just about what they do but about who they are this couple in particular and i don't know about you but i it was very sad to me 
when they got the call and they just are told today is the day and I, I, they didn't fully explain why i'm 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 supposing it's because at a particular age i guess they want them to have a little different steph, level of freedom steph watched it with me obviously and she's much smarter than i am um so like once again if, if ever i say anything intelligent it's probably because she said <laughs> uh i steal from her but we're All married so we share yeah. uh, <laughs> um but she's like she assumed that it was they're the only ones who can take care of young elephants like this uh-huh and so they might have since it's a new season coming up they might have needed them for future elephants right that, that would age. make sense and get the older one away yeah. and let this new it one. It was extremely sad. Oh though. my star! I was what? like, "What the f- you doing? Taking that family he- member away from them? hearing baby call out? Yeah. Oh, it was breaking my heart. Yeah, I uh, I really enjoyed this uh, documentary. It was short, sweet, um, and it, uh, it 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 packed a punch. Uh, I I really enjoyed this. Uh, it was one talking about the uh, the our two <laughs> leads. I would say right. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Our two main people. Our two main people. Such sweet people, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and her story heartbroke me, man. Oh, my god. Her goodness. husband dies. Her daughter. daughter dies. Like, I was like, and then she now loses another child and this other elephant. I'm right. like, I feel so bad for this woman. <laughs> Talk about resilience, man. Because even though he goes away, she's still... It's somebody of lesser character and mental strength would have easily said, I'm out. Yeah. In so many ways. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, she... But... Um, they were so lovely and sweet, and obviously they knew what the hell they were doing. Yeah. Um, Amazing to watch the mm-hmm. interaction with them. Anytime I watch something like that, it just reminds me of, there's a, a, a famous uh, text that says, the lion will lay down with the lamb, and it's mm-hmm. talking about things in the totality of the most perfect redemptive prospects at the end of time. And it is that particular picture of the relationship of all living creatures together in a in a place of peace and yeah. respecting and honoring each living thing for who they are and what they are mm-hmm. uh, i just it, there's to me in my personal experience i'm sure you feel the same way there's no greater honor i can experience than an animal particularly a wild animal mm-hmm. allowing me interaction mm-hmm. it's 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 because it's a gift. There's yeah. nothing you can do to earn that. Yeah, uh, and something I've always appreciated about India, for the most part, um, they're really respectful of animals because obviously mm-hmm. it has to do a lot with if you're they're Hindu at least. Yeah, they, it's part of their religion. Right. They they see this animal as uh, a god. Right. Absolutely. Uh, essentially, I, mean, it's, uh, I, I like that sequence where they got them dressed up to go worship yeah. Ganesh. Um, and like I said, for the most part, there's certain elements of uh, I've never liked like animals being used for like um i don't want to say work because obviously some like the shepherding dogs that's yeah work, there's some that, animals that, that love to work and that's different as well that, yeah they see that almost as play absolutely i'm talking like no the ones that enjoy the work when we were in rajasthan elephants taking people up i'm not a huge fan of that uh <laughs> Uh, and like in when I see horses walking down the street to just to, like it's they're not like working on a ranch or mm-hmm. stuff like that. That that stuff bothers me. And then obviously there's always people that poach and the, those are fucking assholes. Exactly. It, it, that's a small percentage, thankfully. But yeah. I've always appreciated how Indians as a whole, for the most part, really see animals as wild. very much. Um, and they've treated them as, as equals, as sometimes better than equals. Yeah, I can tell you the way, for example, stray dogs and cats are treated, I'm sure it's this way around all of India, but to use Indrani's neighborhood as an example, mm. I remember her telling me about this, and then I saw it firsthand when I was there. The strays are considered pets of everybody, mm. and they're allowed, most for the most part, in and out. There's a kitty there named Minnie, who is just the neighborhood just cat and goes oh, in yeah. and out of everybody's house. Sleeps in Indrani's bed sometimes and then left and then was gone for a week or two and then would come back. Hey, here's Minnie. Minnie's back. She'd sleep in bed when she was gone. And then same with dogs. There's a dog on the street that everybody knows named Dumbo. Stray dog. People will come and pet Dumbo, give Dumbo some food. And if any of them are sick, they typically will take care of them. Mm. It's like this community. There's not stray dogs and cats here. No. Are they become feral if they're not caught? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so you're not, right; they're, they're not taken care of. No, like that. The, the the level of and I think, care it, like and, I said, comes from the religious aspect of it. I, I think, think so. People like I think like 
obviously elephants especially ganesh yeah 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 <laughs> one of the the biggest hindu gods right um so obviously they see him as like a reincarnation well symbol of the god right? central to to many hindus and even i believe to jains is the concept of don't harm any of the living things and that's one of the reason that you have vegetarian hindus is mm -hmm. it's principle in them to not harm an animal yeah yeah um so i i always love that aspect it was it was very sad like when mm. he got taken away like uh i forget the elephant's name but he ragu when he got taken away it was so so sad it was <laughs> for everybody for ragu for amu the little yeah. baby for the the mom and dad, for lack of a better term. Yeah, oh. and the fact that this gentleman as well was just so good at, at what he did, and that's that was their entire life, is taking care of these beautiful animals, and how I can't, like, there's probably just a handful of places, probably all in Asia for the most part, maybe some in Africa, that have something like this, where you could do one-on-one, -on -one intimately interact with Interact them. that way. A magnificent animal like an elephant yeah i when i had the blessing of going on safari and that sounds such like a privileged kind of thing to do it was actually a a, a trip and a gift that had been won by mm. andrea my ex-wife at the time yeah so it was an all expense paid thing we could have never paid for that ourselves. but i remember being out on safari and i i dream of the day i could go back not just with indrani but with all of the kids together mm -hmm. and the grandkids and i remember we were out on safari and you you never know what you're going to see you could go out on safari and see nothing and there's the big five animals, and one of them are the elephants. And I remember a lady from France was there, and she knew it was our first time going on safari. And she said, you have to see the elephants. You have to see the elephants. She was telling the guide, they have to see the elephants. And he said, yeah, like, like we can't just, we don't blow a whistle and they come. These are wild animals. And when we got to the elephants, it, we didn't just get to see the elephants. I have video of it. I'll probably post again on Instagram. We got to spend about a half hour at this watering hole and watch the adolescents play and i mean they were they were literally at one point as far as from me to the wall just playing there were about mm. seven total elephants i cried mm. just to see them in their free world being elephants and we just get to watch them mm -hmm. so i uh, yeah again that it was, gift. A, it was a beautiful and it was also very well shot as well uh, very well uh, shot yeah it's it's one of those things and and um that it's you know it's it's hard to really critique it like when it's done well because it, it's just if it looks i mean if it looks bad there's something you can say but also you can't really sometimes critique it as well because you're like that's not really what they were trying to convey they were trying to convey mm -hmm. the story not really the the artistic in terms of like the visual aspect of it another uh, thing about it i think that's great that oftentimes you don't get because with a documentary whether it's short or long form is those those are typically revealing some pretty ugly things going on that need to be corrected this is one the whole family can watch yeah uh, you can have a little one watch this and they'll get sad and they need to know about that kind of sadness in life and mm -hmm. right so, yeah. so for the whole family yeah i thought it uh it was a really lovely uh short documentary uh let us know what you thought about the this short documentary in the elephant whisper uh and down in the comments below and we will now get to all that breathes the other indian nominated film the full length uh, uh documentary nomination of the year and this one i thought was uh really really nice as well even more so in terms of like um the technical aspects mm -hmm. of this film were through the roof in terms of, like, I know I just talked about in, in The Elephant Whisper how it's hard to do that, even though that one was very pretty. And it's very this, pretty and very simple. This one, even more so in terms of what it did cinematography-wise yeah. with this film was... Yeah. I mean, it, almost as interesting as what it was saying on screen, obviously, about these two yeah, gentlemen. And, even more sometimes. And, uh, Incredible. And their uh, rehabilitation of the, I think they call them kites. Kites. Uh, which I believe is just kind of like a hawk. Yeah, it's like a, it's a bird of prey. Yeah. Yeah. What would you think? What would you think? Yeah. And we, we have not seen any, I'm hoping to see the other nominated documentary shorts yeah. and document so there's no way to know yeah. who's who, obviously we're rooting for but we have no other yeah, basis no way to know who's going to get honored with an oscar in that regard but i can tell you whereas the elephant whispers has such a beautiful simplicity and charm the this one had a simple complexity mm -hmm. and the, first of all like, like the cinematography absolutely insane was from the opening there were so many times i was floored 
It was almost as if the living things were moving on cue into frame. There's that one shot they go down under the water and a millipede a... comes out as if it was asked to step into frame on cue. They must have had a hundred hours of B-roll. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and the one I thought, okay, now you're showing off. You s goes down and in the water you see the plane fly overhead, yep. which... The reason that's not just great because of the technical difficulty and beauty of that, the reason that's great is because I've never seen a documentary that covers this subject matter, which is the way human beings and wildlife interact with each other in a city environment and how adaptation is taking place within all organisms in the city together. Mm -hmm. And do it in such a way as it's not just, you know, David Attenborough saying, well, here we have the rat walking around in refuge. Although I do love right a good outside. David Attenborough. I love a good David Attenborough. But this was so high level intellectual yeah. capacity. It was it was really impressive. It was. Uh, and uh, there's a couple of things about the cinematography um, and visual aspect of it. The couple of shots that were, I don't know what kind of lens he was using, but God damn. There was some times where he would have something in frame and it was... You didn't know at the time, but it was in the distance. Right. And then you would pull back to a medium, and right. it would be another thing that right. came into focus right. with the, the other thing. And then he'd come back even farther, right. and it's this ant. Right. <laughs> like, what the fuck lens do you have? That's amazing. Yeah. And like, And also, unless I'm wrong, there was something that was breathing in every, every single shot. frame yeah. of this yeah. film. And Yeah. Like whether it was a human or whether it was an ant or yes. whether it was an insect animal, there was something that was living. In every single frame, unless I am wrong, but I, I I was looking for it after a while, in every single frame of this film. Yes. And obviously that's a choice. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, on purpose. Um, and so it was really, really impressive, technically especially. As was messaging. Yeah. Because so many deeply important and profound messages were stated in what could be really missed to anyone and this this isn't just in documentary. It the same principle applies to great filmmaking of any storytelling capacity. So there's the similarity is that this was a story. And two things that immediately come to mind. Here's the subject matter. How terrible the air quality can be in Delhi. Mm -hmm. But rather than give us statistics and rather than have us do narration, we simply have a distant camera. And the little boy coughs and mom says he's coughing and that he can go out after it's registering red. And as they start to talk about his fever and get a little more personal, they shut the door. That was unbelievable. And another one was they I think they had just shown the imagery of the person on top of, I believe, was a mosque taking down the top of it. And then they do a quick close up of the kite mm -hmm. and someone narrates about religion. Mm -hmm. The mess, what they're saying is just something about, yeah, there was a problem in the neighborhood that's religious, but showing the bird at that time spoke volumes of the messaging of, we realize that it's only human beings that do this to each other. There is no religion in the, any other life form on this planet, but th us and what we do to each other doesn't just hurt us. It's hurting all of these innocent creatures. Yeah. Incredible and messaging. It was impressed because for... A good while you thought it was just just going to be about obviously the, their journey and the conservation of these these birds, right? Uh, and, and that and that was obviously interesting enough. And then they brought in the um, Muslim, uh, mm -hmm. their their uh, what they were going through right. at this time, right? Uh, and and the and the uh, protests and and all that kind of stuff that was going on. And I was, thought that was such a I did not see that turn coming, but obviously it, it wasn't like the that part of the message wasn't like in your face nothing was kind of like right. um like it could like they could probably do a documentary just about that Abso that entire Absolutely. thing that happened right yeah but they kind of was just so they like leave that part in because obviously i'm guessing i don't even know if they set out for that to be part of it but obviously that happened during maybe they did maybe i'm totally wrong obviously that i don't I don't think so. Yeah. Because if they did, then extra kudos for being so soft-handed in it, even though it was profound and powerful. Yeah. That's one thing I didn't feel that there was any kind of propagandizing or proselytizing or I feel like they they just happened upon many things. Mm -hmm. 
and let the messaging speak for itself mm -hmm. with a lens and even even something this simple, just hearing them talk about early on that they took the kite to a particular rescue place and the rescue place wouldn't help that bird because it's a non-veg bird. That's very strange. <laughs> Astonishing. <laughs> it may, like, obviously I get it. It's a real thing. because it it's, it's a real, it's real thing. But I was like, what? Uh, yeah. You're a conserv... Right. You realize it's a it's a wild animal. It's a wild right? it's animal like it's needing do. help, and it's built and designed yeah. to eat meat. <laughs> that was strange. Very strange. But obviously, uh, it's. Uh, but for them, it was. Oh yeah, I guess we can't take it to that place because that's that's the yeah, way it is. That's the way it is. I, I did not know there was like places that were about animals and, and conservation, veterinarian kind of kind of places that. Would discriminate on animals based off of that fact. I mean, right. I, I understand. Obviously, it's part of some people's religion, and and that's that's totally fine. Um, but I was like, a wild animal, right? That's like I'm not going to take care of this lion that needs yeah. my help. Yeah, he eats me. Sorry, we only accept the male chimpanzees here. <laughs> very strange. It's a patriarchal vet. Yeah, that was such an interesting, very uh, very strange. Um, but then also their their process of getting funding and. And and to to build out their thing, and then the that, the whole element of him leaving, and you 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 could see that there was some tension. Oh yeah, between the like why why are you leaving right now? Right, and he was like, oh, uh, I'm doing it so I could get better, obviously, and you know, like all that kind of stuff. And they, you could see like he wanted the other guy wanted him to turn off the camera so they could really yeah have and, a chat. And I wonder his shot from the states, and he pointed out that that bird looks just like the kite. You could sense the aching inside of him of. Did I make the right choice? I kind of want to be it was back helping the super interesting kites. that they ended with a, like him as a, on a frozen FaceTime call. Yeah. I was like, I, I didn't know what that really no, meant. No, I didn't. Uh, no. I, 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 other than that's just the story's ongoing. And the other thing that was, I was happy for them, but it broke my heart that these guys that are doing such a beautiful thing in, in trying to rehabilitate these birds, which I loved it when they stole his glasses. Um, <laughs> that they're struggling yet a single news coverage article by the new york times changes everything the power of some people to just do one little thing for somebody and how that can alter generations yeah and i'm sure the new york times just said oh it's an interesting story but that little interesting story when he put the picture frame up and he's dusting it with the article inside of it i thought we take so much for granted mm. in places where we are so richly blessed with so much when there's so many in the world like these guys who they don't care about anything else but helping the birds and they, you know, it's like feed the birds, tuppence a bag, yeah. where's my... <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a unique, incredible, Oscar-worthy documentary. Yeah, and like I said, I, I, I really enjoyed both. I Until I see, obviously, if I get to see the other documentaries... Obviously, I'll be able to make a better judgment there off of which one is more worthy than the others. Yeah. Um, not that it's hard. Documentary is hard, man, because it's like, how can you really compare this documentary about birds and has such so many I great know. technical aspects to, I don't know, let's say there's one about refugees in Syria. Like, <laughs> how can you even compare? Like, the one one doesn't make one better than the other. Like, <laughs> I know. It's obviously, really... it's the same with films, too, obviously. it's Which is why documentarians are the ones that vote. Yeah. That's my... Our favorite thing about the the awards at the Oscars is that it's only people of those disciplines that vote on those particular things. So documentarians are the ones who know better than anybody else. And they also not only know what they see, they typically know the stories about what it took to get it made, which is a huge reason as to why something wins something. Because when you film something that required special access, you risked your life. There's a lot of factors. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... I don't know, but we'll be rooting for it. Yep. Uh, both of them. Yep. Uh, I would love to see both. I would That'd love to amazing. see them and not to, not to. And those are the only three, right? Three, yeah, those are the three that are up. Um, and um, I would love to see all three of them win. Yeah. Not to, not to. I'm expecting. It'll be a uh, shock if it doesn't get it. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the performance as well of uh, Rumtron and... Burn the, house down. Anyways, burn the house uh, down. Anyways, let us know what you thought about these two documentaries, which will be our next documentaries uh, that we should watch. I guess we've seen 
quite a few documentaries this year so far. This is our, technically, if you include Romantics, the fourth, it's our third documentary. Yeah. Of the year. Yeah. That's technically, which is more than more we've, we've done, done in every, in any particular uh, year. Um, so if there's other documentaries, we, we always love a good documentary. It's just, um, it's, it's a different review than a normal review. Um, so let us know what the next documentary should be down below.